Hello friends. Welcome to the course ETAS for Structural Design of Residential Buildings. My name is Gokul Saud and I'll be your instructor for this course. Let's move on and let's get the pieces of this course together. So this course broadly talks about two things. The first thing is understanding the software and the second thing is understanding the structural design. So in the first thing, understanding the software, I have made sure that you know each and every part of the software. So I'll start from the basic and I'll move to the advanced so that you do not find it trouble learning the software. The next thing is understanding the structural design. Only learning the software will not make you a structural designer. Learning a software is just like having a car. So if you have a car, that doesn't mean that you can drive. For driving, you need to first learn how to drive the car. You also need to learn the traffic rules, how to handle your car in busy traffic and those stuffs. So structural design is also like that. So learning the software and the tools of that software doesn't make you a structural designer. For becoming a structural designer, you have to think like one. I will also talk about the things that you need and the things that you need to understand to think like a structural designer. Now let's talk about the learning path of this course. So first we will start by learning the software basics. So how are we gonna achieve that? How we will learn the basics of the software? So for that, I will use various examples. For example, I'll use analysis of a continuous beam. After that, I'll move one step further and do the analysis of a truss. Till this point, you will have learned the basics of the software. After learning the basics of the software, now it is time to learn analysis and design of building. So how are we gonna achieve that? So we will know how to read the architectural drawings. So I have talked about how the architectural drawings are prepared and what information we need to get from those drawings. On the basis of those drawings, we will learn how to model the building in ETAPS. So drawings, they might be in AutoCAD or in PDF format or in the paper format and by looking at those drawings we must be able to model that same structure in our software. After modeling the structure you need to apply the load and we will learn how to apply various kinds of load in our structure. After the application of the load and making the load combinations next thing that we do is analyze and design the structure. So analysis is about finding the forces, reactions, movements and displacements in our structure. And design is about finding the size of the beams and the columns or other structural members and how much reinforcement should be provided in those members. ETAPS will give you information about how much reinforcement should be provided in your structural members. But how to provide those reinforcement? For example, you can provide the reinforcement of 16 mm bar, 12 mm bar or the combination of those bars. How to do that? And that thing we will talk in detailing of structural members. After achieving these three steps, you will be able to model and design any kind of residential building. Now let us move on. Who should take this course? This course is for all those civil engineers who want to learn ETAPS and who want to pursue their career in the structural designing field. Also this course is helpful for the freelance engineers who want to undertake the projects and do those designs on their own. This course is also helpful for the students who want to learn ETAPS to complete the projects that they have to do. Also, the students might be interested in structural designing and want to work in this field after they graduate. This course is also for the structural designers that are currently practicing and want to improve their knowledge of this field. This course is also for the general people, anyone who want to learn this course. So when you move through the lectures of this course, you will see that this course is very basic. Anyone can learn this software from this course. All the technical terms have been explained properly and everything that is needed that will lead you in the path of structural designing has been explained in this course. So guys, I hope that this course is helpful to you and you get the best out of this course. And I also hope that your objective for enrolling in this course is met and you learn something out of this course. Best wishes and happy learning. 
and see you soon.